Hi guys, um, so today I will be going over the prefix adder. As part of the CSE 140 tutoring stuff, I think prefix adder is something I think it's pretty hard when I did the homework. I had to go to the TA office to basically let them help me out how to do each step. Um, but today I want to create this video not only for CSE 95 but also to reduce the hassle. So as either Prof Chin or Prof CK explained in class, prefix adder is another form of the CLA. And what you need to really focus for this schematic is the propagate and the generate signals, which are the PIJ and the GIJ. And there are some, I guess, little notches that you need to know um, throughout uh, the calculation. The first thing first is that this schematic will now change no matter you are doing calculation on like 100 plus 999 or 66 plus 1000 something, this schematic will stay the same. <clears throat> you probably for this purpose CSE 140 do not know how this schematic was generated, but you do need to know which are the blanks you need to fill, which are all the I's and all the IJ's. In this case, they call it a legend. So we'll do an example of 289 plus 156. So the convention lines will use p, comma g, so propagate comma generate uh, for my slides, but you might do it differently. Um, so 289, you convert that into binary, 256 convert into binary, and then you do the summation, you convert into binary, which this 1, 5, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 will be the answer that you should get um, after all the calculations. And then many people were confused on what's the k when you do all the calculations. So k is a level. So the first line of the black box uh, are k equals 0, the second one the k equals 1, third one k equals 2, and the last one is k equals 3. And <clears throat> there's something that you need to know, uh, the c in, in all the cases are equal 0, and then for the negative one on the top right corner, you will put in 0, comma 0. So, uh, <clears throat> there are some things you need to calculate. Based on the, the schematic, you will understand that the pij equals to the pik, and pk minus 1. J and the GIJ equals to the GIK or with the PIK GK minus one J. And then for the GII and the PII, they're the calculation of the bits from the inputs, basically in this case the 289 and the 756. Uh, the G are the end of the bits, and then the P is the or of the bits. Uh, let's do an example. Oh yeah, as I have said on um, in the previous slides, the negative one part you put in zero comma zero. And then the seeking will be zero as always. So in this case, let's take the last bit from the 289, 1, and then the last bit from the 756, 0. Then 1 and 0, you generate 0. Then you put in to the generate. And then for the propagate, it's the 1 or 0. Then you get a 1, then you put in that into propagate. So for the index 0, basically g00 and then p00, you have 1, comma 0. And then for the next one, you do the same thing. You basically take the second from the last bit from the 289 and the 756. Um, basically, you end them and or them, you generate 0, 0, and then so forth. You get 1, 0 for 2. For the third one to the third to the last uh, of each bit. And then as a result, you should generate something this um, for the whole thing. It looks kind of ugly, but I try my best. And then, after you fill in the top row, <coughs> it will go to the level 1, k equals 0. In this case, you will do the same calculation with the pij equals to the pik, and with the pk minus 1, j. Um, then, you will do the same thing for the g. You just have to follow each index carefully, um, <coughs> and then you will generate 0, 0, and then 0, 0 for the p21 and the g21. And then you will do the same thing. Um, for the one that one negative one, you will go up instead you will go to level, I guess K. You will go to the level that above K equals zero. You go to the P11, the G11 part to take all the P and J values. And then for the whole thing, you should generate something like this as a result. And then you will calculate the S. S, which are your ideal result of 289 plus 156. So the S is calculated with the G, I minus 1, negative 1, nor with the result of A 
i b i north. And in this case, you will generate the result that we wanted, which is 256 equals to the in binary is 1501010101. And that's about it.